morning everybody my name is crystal and welcome to my youtube channel well, if you like my videos please smash that like button please do subscribe good morning saturday morning and the sun is shining here in rochester it's shining quite brightly a contrast from yesterday where it was on and off very uh, overcast the sky was and it was on and off raining so it's a really nice, we've got the Sweeps Festival over the weekend here in Rochester, the Sweeps Festival. Uh, there's a lot of celebration, like dancing, um, they sell like beer and uh, there's lots of stalls and things and it's, it, it's, it's nice. I went last year and I think I went on a Sunday and the shops were open the shops were open the charity shops were open on a Sunday so you could get a few bits on a Sunday I actually went out um, to the Sweets Festival last year on a Sunday and I thought all well, the shops would shut but they were open and uh, yeah I, I, it, was, it was nice I don't like crowded places though and I'm a polite person and I wouldn't shove somebody out the way without apologising but I'm afraid people today, just care, some of them, just care about themselves and you get pushed and shoved and I really don't like that sort of thing so I, I thought twice about it this year I certainly wouldn't go there on a Saturday it's going to be bloody busy and bloody full and packed and also hang on to your belongings because as in crowds and that and places there are people that like to pickpocket and, and um, when you're distracted or you've had a bit to drink and you're a bit happy just make sure you keep your purse and, and wallet etc safe and that goes for everywhere you go these days Alexa good morning good morning and may the fourth be with you why not ask me for a Star Wars impression or a Star Wars joke? Okay. Or say, execute order 66 or I am your father. Alexa, execute order 66. <coughs> yes, my lord. Hold on. I'm not a clone trooper. Alexa, can you tell me a Star Wars joke? Why shouldn't you ask Yoda for money? Because he's always a little short. <laughs> Alexa, what's the date today? Good morning, Crystal. It's Saturday the 4th of May. Alexa, what's the time? <coughs> the time is 8.31am. Alexa, what's the weather like? Currently, in Rochester it's 9 degrees Celsius with fog. Today, you can expect showers, with a high of 16 degrees and a low of 6 degrees. At the moment, the sun is out and it feels very, very warm. Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Hmm, I don't know that. Alexa, whose birthday is it today? Sorry, I don't know that one. Alexa, who was born on this day? Celebrities born on the 4th of May include Dawn Michelle Staley, Audrey Hepburn, Rocco C. Freddy, Eleanor Coppola, and Kimora Lee Simmons. Right, guys. So it's Saturday. It's, it's the weekend. And at the moment, we have lovely weather. So I've just taken it, you know, each moment as it happens, and just dealing with things as they occur. And that's all I can do. Um, financially, it's tight for absolutely everybody at the moment. The cost of living crisis. Everything's double the price. Uh, the price of medication has gone up. So for those people that are working, and they do work hard, and wages, wages aren't going up, People can't afford to pay for their prescriptions when they need them. So what is going to happen when people need medication but the cost of a prescription is too high? 
Um, it just makes people get more and more fed up, more and more angry, and it's going to cause conflict, isn't it? It's going to cause upset. Uh, and there doesn't seem to be anyone high up doing anything about it at all. Why is everything doubling in price and why is everything going up it seems every few weeks now the price of things I mean it, 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 it's got to a point where people can't you know I mean you can't feed your family you can't feed yourself you go in, you used to go into the shop with a 20 pound note and you would have a basket full of stuff and it's no joke sometimes You'll have a £10 note and you'll get three things. Three things. Or six things for £20. If you want if you want decent food to eat, like some chicken, that's your tenner gone. That's why people buy cheap food. They live on crisp sweets and, sh you know, cheap food. I mean, for goodness sake, a tin of soup used to be 50p. You know, it's like £1.20, £1.30 for a tin of soup. And the quality of the fruit, it, it, it's not, uh, in my opinion, it's not lasting very long. You buy some fruit, it's gone off the day after you bought it. It's not just the, the price of the food, it's the quantity of it and the quality. The quantity has been reduced and the quality of the food is not like it used to be. And if they expect the, the public to pay council tax, and I've just, I know I keep going on about it, this over a hundred pound bill for council tax. We need to get the service. We're paying for the for the for the the council to do a service, for the police to do a service, and you know you read your council tax bill and it tells you where it's going, but um, we're not getting value for money in anything. We're getting all our money taken away from us, but we're not getting value. The bills are going up. And they're making everyone, like, you know, who can't pay their bills, go on a pay-as-you-go meter. And obviously you do realise that if poor people can't afford to top up their prepayment meter, and even when they've used the emergency credit, that you, you will get your gas and electric switched off. And it won't come on until you've paid the debt, pay, paid the emergency credit, so... If, you're, if your prepayment meter goes off and you've used the emergency credit to get back on to an even kill you've got to pay at least £10 to put the meter, meter money in the meter plus it'll, you'll accrue a debt so if you've used the emergency credit it's like £10-15 and you have to pay the debt that you owe to, to the electricity company or the gas company so you're going to at least have to fork out 30, 40 quid to, to, to remain, to get yourself back on. And that'll leave you with 20 pounds. And that, that, for me, that hardly lasts a week. And I have dual electricity, so I'm having to top up not only the electric, but the gas. So that's 40 pounds a week for gas and electricity. We are being treated very harshly in this country, very harshly indeed. The electricity companies, gas companies, they're raking the money in. Uh, the council's getting all this council tax that's tri mine's treble. Uh, and we're all poor and, and struggling to eat and live. Now, luckily for me, right, sun's out I don't have to keep all the lights on so we've got light till quite late in the evening and it's warmer so I don't have to put the electricity in but this winter 
is going to be one hell of a bloody winter with this extortionate council tax. It's going to be terrible. It's going to be really bad this winter. If I'm topping up between, if I'm topping up 40 pounds for my gas and electric every week, what's it going to be like winter? It's going to be double. You can't afford it. And then you choose between heating up your home or paying the council tax. And if you don't pay your council tax, they throw you in prison. People high up, they don't, they don't, they don't worry about it. Mean, I know, I mean, this is, I'm just saying this, but do the royal family or, or MPs have to top up their electricity mixes, do they? No. Do they actually know what it feels like to be a member of the ordinary public? And if they do, do they do they not think that there should be more help and support for vulnerable and poorer people than there is in place at the moment? Some elderly and vulnerable people haven't don't you know to fill in forms to try and get reductions in council tax is complicated, and most companies now want you to fill in emails. It's a bit like what my mum's going through. All these forms are complicated. You need someone to show you and help you. If you're elderly and vulnerable, or you're, you're younger but you've got a disability, and you get penalised for it, right? And you, you get treated like a common criminal when all you need is a bit of help and support. And if, if someone high up actually tried to get through, to the, to like the council tax department or even to a bloody doctor's surgery and have to wait on the phone. I've waited on the phone for hours to get through to the doctors. And it's all right. I mean, I've got, a, I top up my phone while I'm able to and they give you unlimited text and unlimited phone calls but what for, what, if, what if you can't top up your phone and get through to the doctors what's going on is criminal uh, and it's vulnerable people that are, and poor people that are suffering while the rich are thriving uh, and it's not right and it's been like that since since I've ever known, to be fair. I mean, I remember as a child, God, that cat's gone maniac. Stop it. Um, I remember as a child, right? Cat. Is that wild? It's a really, really hairy cat with a very, very furry tail and he goes mad in the morning. It's a tomcat. He talks like, meow, meow, meow. Yeah. So, as a kid, um, I remember my dad not paying the electricity bill. And we got cut off with electricity and someone from social services came out with a, a gas colour stove. This is what social services were like years ago. They, they saw me and my sister without electricity and they brought round a gas colour gas stove. And we had that till my father uh, could afford to put the electricity back on. So we went for weeks, maybe months, without proper hair, care, help and support. Social services would walk in and that's all they would do. Um, there needs to be more, more help for, for women with domestic violence. My dad was hitting my mother. The police would come out, they would leave, he would belt my mother even harder. I mean, as a kid, I wonder what the hell was going on. 
But you can't change the world when you're a child. It's hard to change the world when you're an adult. But when you look through a kid's eyes and watch your father beating your mother, watching watching your dad not pay the bills but buying his, his cigarettes and his tobacco, um, you know, it's, it's, it's beyond belief. The pain you suffer as a child through parents, it's a vicious circle. If a, a mentally ill parent isn't treated as a child, it goes grows up into a mentally impaired adult. And then when two mentally impaired adults like my mum and dad were, meet each other, that's, uh, that's, well that's trouble just waiting to happen, isn't it? So if you don't treat people when they're younger and you let you let mental health be honest get out of hand because my father was mentally ill as a child and so was my mother by the sound of it and they go on to have children and they can't look after their children properly they stunt their children's growth and their children grow up do you know a lot of people abused as children grow up to be abusers themselves because they've learnt that behaviour from their parents. Not all sexually abused children grow up to abuse, but a proportionate amount do, you know. I have tried I've tried to get counselling. I was abused as a child and I I, I would you know, I'm completely different. I I hate child cruelty, I hate animal cruelty and I hate cruelty of any form. I have tried many times to get help and support but unless you are rich and you can fork out hundreds and hundreds of pounds for a counsellor then you, you don't get the help you need. So unless people start getting help and support as children and as adolescents this is going to continue to go on and on and on and on and the state of this country is getting worse and worse the conflict the fights the violence and the aggression and while MPs etc sit on their backsides and don't do anything about it the police need well, they, they need financial support. Police need a lot of training. They need training in domestic violence. They need training in, in crime. But most of all, they need training in talking to members of the public like they're people. And, uh, and not that... What I'm trying to say, guys, is the police have no idea how to speak properly to the public. Now, a lot of situations would be diffused if the police knew how to handle the public properly instead of taking, some of them, taking their job to their head and thinking they're right, you know, they're, they're, they've got this over the public. If they treated the public like human beings, they get more respect but because they're some of them are thugs to members of the public a lot of criminals aren't criminals they're just people with problems they're people with alcohol problems drug problems financial problems we're all human beings a police officer is a human in a uniform right if they were more understanding and they weren't thuggish and take their jobs to their heads then people would respect them more but a lot of them treat the members of the public like shit the police and when people feel like they're being treated like shit and a people of worthless muck they are not going to give the police any respect that's not rocket science Why is there a lot of violence and knife crime? The public are dissatisfied. People that come to this country are dissatisfied. 
we're all being treated like poop by people higher up and and the police and every and you know we're humans we need to feed our families we need support and help we don't need to be just left to rot and starve right because that is what's happening at the moment for lots of people There are millions of people out there suffering with bad housing. Poor housing, mouldy walls, mouldy ceilings. There are people living in hotels for temporary accommodation because they've been kicked out of their homes because they can't afford the rent, right? And, yeah, I don't want to bring this up again, but when Clarion Housing can fix one person's kitchen, then don't you think they should fix everybody's kitchen? And that goes for every housing company. You, people should not be living in poor ha uh, council house conditions in the first place. And when I saw br how Brian Harvey was living, it was criminal. You shouldn't be living in a place with mice pissing and shitting all over your kitchen. I've actually been through that myself when I lived in a bed sit. A bed sit. But also, Brian Harvey is suffering from bipolar. He's not getting the medical help he needs, right? Because a lot of people that have been sexually abused as children need help, help. You know, counselling support, psychiatric support, because when you've been abused, you don't, you, your mind is a mess. It's fucked up. You don't want to wash up, you don't want to clean, you don't want to do anything. Your mind is a mess because you've been abused and you need help. So if you started with helping people rather than bullying them and calling them names, then maybe that person, maybe that person's house wouldn't have got in that state in the first place. And why you continue to just, like, you know, fixing a kitchen is not fixing someone's mind. It's not fixing their mindset, right? So we'll see what happens. But when you don't help somebody out with their depression, bipolar, whatever, fixing a kitchen is not going to help the problem, in my opinion. Now I'm going to get on with the rest of my day. People need kindness, care, help and support. Not bullying, victimisation and, you know, hiding, hiding things. People need to talk about what's happened to them. And these, these perpetrators need to be caught. See you later.